Hey YouTube, it's your girl Sheila J and I am back at you with another video. If you are new here, welcome. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn in your bell notifications so you can be notified every single time yours truly uploads a new video. If you are not new here, welcome back, but you always come back because I am everyone's favorite everything and your favorite YouTuber and everything I touch turns to gold. And in today's video, we are talking about a concept that I think fairly a lot of you guys should understand and I think a lot of you guys forget. I feel like sometimes there are a lot of people who are literally die-hard Neville fans that go hard on everything that he says and take his little word, every little word that he says and literally forget that he is not the only person who teaches manifesting or whatever the case may be. You're changing your mindset, so you have got to be open to other concepts as well. And I take a little bit of what I like from Neville, and I take a little bit of what I like from this person, and a little bit of what I like from this person, and I apply it into my own reasoning and my own understanding. Because there is more than one way to manifest. There's scripting, there's revision, there's affirmations, there's listening to subliminals, there's listening to affirmation tracks at night, there's visualization, there's more meditation, there's more, so many ways that you can manifest your dream life, it's not even funny. But a lot of you guys are so stuck on one theory, one concept, like, and there's more than one person. There's Alan Watts that I just learned about. There's Think and Grow Rich. There's Rich Dad, Poor Dad. There's um, there, there's books that I've been reading in class. There, there's so many different ways to learn about changing your mindset. And I feel like a lot of you guys are just not as open-minded as you like want to say you guys are and are forgetting that there are more than one way to manifest. And there's more than one person that you can learn how to manifest from. There's not just Neville Goddard. There's just so many people out there and you guys are just so stuck on just learning from him. Like, there's just so many. And I, and I don't mean this in a bad way, and I don't mean this to bash on him because I think his, the stuff that he teaches, I really think is great. But I, what I do find the problem is that when you're not, when you're so fixated on the one person that you're learning from, and you're not being open-minded to understanding other concepts to manifesting, that's where I think it gets toxic. That's where I think there's a problem because when there's the when you have that problem of only being one track minded you're not growing and you're not evolving from the different th and being willing to learn about different concepts there's more than one and i think we have to as a whole collectively understand that there is more than one concept otherwise we will not grow he is not the only one that you can learn from. I literally just named a couple of different people. Open your mind up to understanding different concepts, read different concepts, read books, um, read blog posts, watch some YouTube vid videos, expand your mind. The more that you expand your mind, the more and you're gonna grow and the more you're gonna evolve because that's what you're essentially doing to manifest your dream life you're essentially changing your mindset that is what you guys are forgetting you are changing your mindset to get what you want you're becoming somebody else to get what you want you're reprogramming your mind to get what you want Dr. Joe Spenza, epigenetics, the sci there's science to this. You're literally changing your mind frame, your mindset to manifest your dream life. And there's multiple ways that you can do that. There's not one, just one way to do that. You can use revision, you can use affirmations, you can use scripting, you can use 
journaling, you can use subliminals, you can use whatever it is that feels good to you, you can use it. And I've said this in all, all of my other videos and I'm gonna say this in, again. What works for you may not work for me. And what works for me may not work for you because guess what? Everyone has their own unique way of manifesting. Everyone does it differently. With that said, please don't forget that everyone, like, please don't forget you are your own unique individual person and soul. So how you manifest is going to be unique to you and how I manifest is going to be unique to me. So you're not doing anything wrong. It's okay to expand your horizons. It's okay to learn other concepts of about manifesting, about how this world actually really works. It is okay. And I trust that this video find that you found this video helpful. I trust that this video gives you a more in depth. And the reason why I'm talking about these top topics is because I know no one else is really talking about it. And I really don't care if people want to speak bad about what it is that I'm put, putting out there. I don't care. I'm feeling like if I need to hear this, somebody else needs to hear this too as a reminder that there is more than one theory, there is more than one concept, there is more than one way to manifest. So that is my video for today. I thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.